<coughs> so I'd like to begin with the fundamental questions on matters. I hope you have had a revision in your code. You know what is the dot product and cross product of matters. Okay. <coughs> fundamental problems. is the centroid of a triangle. You have to write down these problems. G is the centroid of a triangle ABC. Of a triangle ABC. Then, then, GA plus GB plus GC, they are all vectors, vector GA plus vector GB plus vector GC, is, is, A, zero vector, option B, three times of GA vector, option C, Three times of GB vector. The option B is three times of GC vector. G is the centroid of the triangle. Let's have a triangle ABC, and G is the centroid. G is the centroid of the triangle. Then we have vectors GA plus GB. This is vector GB. This is vector GC. When you add these <coughs> three vectors, which one of these four is the answer? This is a examination question. See the examination question. <coughs> if vector A is the position vector of the vertex A. Vector A is the position vector. Vector A is the position vector of vertex A. Vector B is the position vector of vertex B. And let's keep vector C as the position vector of the vertex C. Now, vector GA, the point G is the centroid. If A, B, C are the <coughs> position vectors of the vertices of a triangle, then can you tell me <coughs> where is the centroid of the triangle? Using the centroid formula. Once again, this is a basic thing you should be knowing. Vector A, vector B, vector C are the position vectors of the vertices of the triangle ABC. And G is the centroid. Then what is the coordinates of the centroid? Okay. So I will write one sentence. This is an important aspect of this question. The centroid of the triangle G lies at vector A plus vector B plus vector C divided by T. This is the centroid formula in vector form. Centroid formula in vector form. Remember this. What is vector A, vector B, vector C? They are the position vectors of the points. What do you mean by that? We mean that in the coordinate system, let's say take O as the origin. Now join OA. Now this is the position vector of OA. If you join OB, you get position vector. Join OC, position vector of the points. 
Vector OC is denoted by vector C. Okay. Now, let's consider vector GA. Let's come to the actual question of vector GA. Well, how do you express vector GA? Any vector, say for example, PQ can be expressed as OQ minus OQ. In the same way, how can you express GA in terms of vector OA minus vector OG. Vector OA is the position vector of vertex A or vector OA is vector OA is vector A minus OG. Can you tell me what is vector OG? What is the position vector of G? A plus B plus C by 3. So what is vector OG? A minus A plus B plus C divided by 3. This is vector GA. Similarly, now let's take the second vector for summation. Vector GB is vector OB minus vector OG which is vector B minus vector A plus vector B plus vector C divided by 3 and vector GC. Vector GC is vector OC minus vector OG where vector OC is the position vector of C minus vector OG is the position vector of the centroid which is vector A plus vector B plus vector C divided by now you add up all these vectors therefore when you add vector GA plus vector GB vector GA plus vector GB plus vector GC you should get I will add first a plus B plus C <coughs> minus of vector A plus vector B plus vector C by 3 is repeated how many times? 3 times. Three times. So minus of 3 times of vector A plus vector B plus vector C divided by 3. So this 3 and this 3 cancel. Vector A minus vector A plus vector B minus vector B plus vector C minus vector C gives 0 vector. So, answer is A. Now, what is the focus point in this question? That the position vector of the centroid of a triangle lies at vector A plus vector B plus vector C divided by 3. Further, you can also keep in your mind that GA vector plus GB vector plus GC vector of a triangle is equal to be a zero vector. Okay.